Hi, this is Josh here at TechSpec, and today we're going to be looking at using the Find a Time feature, which is um, incredibly valuable, especially with uh, accounts all in the same organization like you often have in a school district. And it's not widely known uh, by most people, even frequent Google Calendar users. So let's talk about when we would use this. Let's say you need to call a meeting with um, a few people and you have to and the more you know the more people you add to a meeting the harder it is to find a time that doesn't conflict with everyone so you know you need to have the meeting but you don't necessarily know when so here's how uh, google helps us attack that especially if so under other calendars you can see the people who i have shared calendars with so i don't know when i need to have this meeting now i can see my open spaces but let's talk about finding their open space. So we don't know when, but we know we're going to have this meeting. So um, instead of just starting by drawing out a meeting somewhere on our calendar, we're going to start with the big red plus button down in the lower right. And when we click on that, we can give our meeting a title. We're going to call it very important collaboration meeting. So instead of starting with, we're going to start with guests instead of starting with a place or a time. So I'm going to invite Ben and I'm going to invite George and I'm going to invite Ed Tech. So now I still don't have a time or place or location, but time or location. And, and let's just say we're going to meet at Barton Elementary. So I can just type in Barton and it auto completes using the address from Google Maps. So when I click find a time, here's what's happening. So now I'm looking at all four calendars in a day by day view. This gray bit shows me where uh, there are openings. So we see here's a problem. This is this is Monday, April 2nd. This is a holiday. So these two people from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. are blocked out. And I happen to know that Ben and George uh, also don't have any time there. So if I use this arrow to click over to the next day, what I see is that if I click here, I've got a gray spot from two to three that would be open for all of us. Although these three people all look like they're working on something called the EdTech Weekly right until two. Um, so that might not work right away. If I click over one more day, um, let's say 1230 to 1130, there's some space in there. So what this does is it lines up everybody's calendars as you can see, let's check one more day. Oh, uh, this looks like a, a heavy day for Mr. Cogswell, so we're not going to choose that day. Let's go to see what we have on Thursday. It looks like there's a nice solid, um, let's try that again. Nope, I only want an hour. So a nice solid hour with free space before and after for everyone here. And it looks like Friday, April 6th. Now, um, I can book that and see since I've clicked in, it's already written the time. If we look up here, it's already written up here all the details. And when I dragged a little too far, I could come up here to just uh, rectify those. So let's go back. And I think we had one more day where we could maybe, let's try. This is, let's roll this back to an hour, but then we're going to click up here. And to give everybody time to get there, we're going to say 11.15. Now when I click to the end time, um, it's doing that one. And since I want to meet with people sooner rather than later, I'm going to go ahead and say save. Because this gives everybody 15 minutes to get to the meeting and 15 minutes until their next thing. So this flashing sort of pulsing gray bar, uh, it's like lined up everybody's schedules and it lets me find open space in their schedules so that we can collaborate this all together. Now an important note is, uh, you have to be able to see people's calendars. You have to have them, they have to have shared it with you, or you have to have some visibility to it. You don't necessarily have to have full access, just be able to see for you're busy or have some access. So when I click um, save, what happens? Would you like to send invitations to guests? So I'm going to click send. So now if we look right here in mine, I have this very important collaboration meeting. And if I go into the details, if I click on it, I can see it's at Barton Elementary. Here are the people who've been invited um, and when it is. 
It's a really useful feature when you're trying to get several people, instead of emailing them, instead of emailing a group and asking who's open when, as long as we've all shared our calendars, like you know, a good, open, collaborative, transparent organization, we can just use find a time and schedule into that window. Um, hopefully this has been useful. It'll show you how Google Calendar brings uh, efficiency to collaboration and scheduling. It's a very useful feature. And happy Googling.